There's nothing to fear but fear itself. I know people's heard that a gazillion thousand times. It's been passed down through the ages. If there's nothing to fear but fear itself, then how come I feel a physical feeling? How come I feel butterflies in my stomach? How come I feel my palms start to get sweaty? How come my pupils start to dilate? How come my heart rate starts to increase? If fear, if nothing to fear but fear itself, then why do I have all this physical feeling when it comes to fear? I'm gonna answer that in a second. Don't forget, but before I do that, don't forget to like and to share, hit that subscribe button. I'll be back in a second, I'll answer that question. Is there such thing as fear? What is this physical sensation that I'm feeling when I feel fear? What's going on guys, Sensei Ninja here. I got a video for you. I'm on a quest right now. Hopefully you guys can help out. Don't forget to share, don't like. I promise I'll be doing a couple videos a week. I'm also gonna I have a lot of different plans for the channel moving forward. I, I'm gonna take this thing serious. I, I'm gonna start doing YouTube videos very, very often. I'm get I'm headed for a thousand uh, subscribers. I'm gonna do giveaways. I'm gonna do prizes. So if you get an opportunity though right now, go ahead and uh, comment below. Say to let me know that you subscribe, and I'll hit you back. And I appreciate all the support we're getting here. Now the uh, today's video. There's nothing to fear but fear itself. But so fear doesn't exist. The ninja believes that fear doesn't exist. But if that's the case, when I used to be, when I first turned professional as an MMA fighter, I used to be nervous as crap in the back room. I used to be so scared. My, I was shaking and my nerve, my stomach was was turning and, and, and I had the butterflies and goosebumps all over my skin and, and my heart rate was increasing. And, you know, I had all of these, these physical feelings that were going on before my matches. So people, oh, well, you're not, it's not afraid. You're not, it's fear. And then some people say fear does exist, got the motto. Would say fear is normal. You're supposed to use fear. It's supposed to be like it's like fire. You know, George St. Pierre said he's afraid every time he goes into the fight, and his fear makes him more meticulous when it comes to his matches. So the question is, does fear exist or does it not exist? The ninja says fear doesn't ever arrive. Whatever you fear is always in the future. There's always something that's way in the future, something that you can't touch or even feel. So fear, the thing about fear is it never arrives. So you're always afraid about something in the future. Never, but because while time something gets in front of you, you have no time to think about if you're afraid or not or what's it going to do. You have to react. If a tiger is right here going to eat you alive, there is no time to worry about if you're afraid or not. You have to just react. So fear is always in the future. It never arrives. But then the question remains, what about the physical feelings you're feeling? Most of the time people misinterpret it, their body's physical feelings. That's not fear. No, it's not fear. The butterflies in your stomach, your heart rate increasing, your pupils dilating, the butter, uh, the the goosebumps on your skin, all of that, the perspiring, extra sweating, all of that is to prepare your body for what is called fight or flight. Your body has adrenal glands, two of them, right on top of the kidneys. They're shaped like little two little pyramid triangle looking things right on top of the uh, the kidneys. They secrete a hormone called cortisol. Cortisol is a stress hormone. It gets you ready for fight or flight. When you get ready for a fight yourself, you have an adrenaline rush, right? If I'm doing a competition, you get adrenaline doing competition. You know, everybody knows what adrenaline is. Adrenaline gives you that boost of energy, but you also get an adrenaline dump if you do not manage your adrenaline properly. You'll end up using all the energy that you have and you have nothing at the end. So the body prepares itself to, to fight or run away. So it pumps it with a whole bunch of hormones so it can get himself out of this dangerous situation. So in reality, you don't want to go against the body's fight or flight. You want to go with the body's fight or flight. So, you know, when, if you're getting ready for competition, you're starting to fill in the nerves, then jump, get up jumping jacks, do some, get some warm ups, hit the pads, or, or you know, do some warm ups so you can get ready for the competition. Watch the nerves start to settle down and go away because your body's getting ready for that situation. So the question remains does fear exist? Yes and no. I guess yes because, you know, it hurts. It either you're going to fight or flight, you're going to fight, flight, or freeze. Some people freeze. And that's the wrong thing to do, like a deer in the headlights. Looking at the headlight, boom, you get hit up by a car. It's the wrong thing to do. So, 
that's today's video. I wanted to uh, make a video in regards to fight or flight. Don't forget to like the vi like the video. Put post a comment below if you subscribe. I'll comment back. I want to hear everybody else's. What are you afraid of? If anybody got phobias, maybe people. Do you agree or you disagree? Go ahead and comment below. Do you have phobias? Do you have fears? Do you have things that you're afraid of that 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 you really really terrified of? Go ahead and comment below.